In this chapter, we will talk about how to make the tailored notched collar. First of all, we need to prepare a piece of muslin 30 cm in the lengthwise green and 17 cm in the crosswise green. Then, in the crosswise, draw a straight line 5 cm from the edge. Draw the back center line 7 cm from the edge of the muslin. Leave about 1 cm and then cut it out. After preparing this, we begin to make the color. Before we make the color, we need to mark the position of the fold line with tape. Start from the center back. For now, as of this position, we set this line as the fold line. According to the number of buttons, for three buttons, the break point may be in this position. For two buttons, the point may be in the lower position. As for four buttons, the line may be ended in the upper position. Put the clothes we had prepared on the foam. Suppose there are three buttons, cut from the position of the first button and the third one. Cut it to about 2 cm from the front center of the button and mark it with a marking line. Do the same things in the third button place, then fold in the bottom part and turn off the axis. You can cut it at the neckline like this. After this work, we begin to assemble the color. We need to fix the center back firstly.
three centimeters from center back to the side neck point, the line is straight. Then it will slowly turn into an egg. So we will clip it. To make sure that this line is on the same line as center back line. We see here, it's natural, vertical. Clip in and slowly turn the color over. When we get to this point, turn it over. Decide the height you want and make the back the color. Pin it temporarily. There is too much ease. We should clip in here. Now align the color with the fold line we just marked.
We turn this piece over and pin it. We can turn the axis fabric off. As well as the back. After painting, we use the marking tape to mark the color shape we want. Start from the fold line. Start is arc shaped, followed is a straight line and finally ended up in the arc shaped. 